Hi guys, welcome to this video on techmadeeasy.co.uk. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can install a version of Linux alongside your existing Windows operating system, uh, in this case Windows XP. This would also work for a Windows Vista or a Windows 7 installation. Uh, and this is really sort of aimed at those people that want to try Linux but don't want to get rid of their existing Windows operating system. So the first thing you need to do is go to Ubuntu website and download uh, the ISO image for the CD and then either burn that to a disk or stick it onto a USB stick and then insert that disk or connect the USB stick. Once you've done that, you'll need to restart your Windows computer and then upon reboot tell it to boot from the CD or USB key. You'll then be presented this window just select English if that's your language or whatever language suits you best and then scroll down to where it says install Ubuntu and select that with the enter key and then a few seconds later the Ubuntu installation will start. So as soon as you get to the first installation screen, select the appropriate language and click forward. Then on the next pane, just check that these are all ticked. And if you want to, you can, if you're already connected to the internet, you can ask it to download any relevant updates while it's installing and any third party software for playing MP3s and things like that, and then click forward. Then on the next screen we're going to select the default option install alongside other operating systems and click forward and here you can see it's it's shown our hard drive and it's shown what installations are already here so we have the current Windows XP installation that we have and then it's proposing that we use 4 gig for the new Ubuntu Linux installation and just by clicking here and dragging you can select how big each partition is so we'll split it right down the middle, 4.3 gigabytes on each side, and click install now. And it just warns you that any changes you make now are permanent, and the resizing operation will take quite a long time to resize your current existing Windows partition. So click continue. And at this point the system will go away and it will resize our partition and then install Ubuntu Linux on the free space that it's created. Now this will take some time, depending on the speed of your system and the size of your hard drive, but once it's done, you'll be able to continue into the Ubuntu installation. That's it, it's finished partitioning, so now we just select our time zone. We select the appropriate keyboard layout. And then we put in our user credentials and a password. And now Ubuntu will go away and install. And when it's finished, it'll ask us to reboot and on reboot we'll see what will happen when we've got both these operating systems installed. So now the installation is finished and what you need to do now is remove the USB stick or the CD and then click on the restart now button. And then when your computer reboots, you'll be presented with this menu. 
and here we have options to boot from Ubuntu, boot into Ubuntu in recovery mode, which you'll never really use, conduct memory tests on your system, or boot into your original Microsoft Windows operating system. So I'll just show you booting into Ubuntu. So here we have our full Ubuntu Linux system of all our applications. All our system, we can install updates, change all our settings. It's a full Linux environment. And if we need to boot back into our Windows partition, we just restart our computer. On restart, just select your Windows operating system. And your computer will quite happily boot back into Windows. It will, the first time you do it, want to check your file system because according to Windows, the hard disk is now significantly smaller than it was expecting. But it'll only do this the first time that you, you boot into Windows and after then it will just continue as it always did without any concern for the other Linux operating system on your hard disk. And there we have it, we have our Windows PC, as it always was, with all our installed files and programs, nothing's changed there. And also we have the ability to boot into an Ubuntu Linux environment when we choose to, to evaluate uh, the new software and new features that Ubuntu offers compared to Windows. Thanks for watching guys, uh, if you have any questions or queries please leave them in the comments below. And uh, stay tuned for more videos from techmadeeasy.co.uk. Thank you.